Well, here in Michigan, Memorial Day weekend is when gardeners everywhere are planting plants in their garden. We should be past our last frost date, and this is when we get the plants in. And I thought I'd share with you some of my favorite garden tools, and I'd love to hear what your favorites are too. So please comment below. Hey Resilient Citizens, this is Prepper Potpourri here with a short garden video. If you're not a subscriber, click that subscribe button below. And remember, click that bell icon too so you're notified every time I upload a video. Hands down, my favorite is the Hori Hori tool. As you can see it's a little muddy. One side has saw blades and it's kind of like a garden trowel. You can dig with it and it even has measurements here so you know how far down to dig if you're putting in bulbs. I use this all the time. It has a full tang here blade and it is my number one tool. If I'm out in the garden, I am always, always with this. I highly recommend, if you don't have one, you get a hoary, hoary gardening tool. Now, I believe it's important to have the right gloves for the job. And for me, a lot of times, it is the mud gloves. It's a nice bright green color here. I just bought these. I get a new pair about every year because I'm pretty hard on them and I go through them. But again, wouldn't garden without them. And the nice thing for me is I've got small hands. This comes in extra small, which is just perfect. And these are very agile. You can do a lot with them. It's not like the glove kind of gets in your way. And of course, if you're doing something in mud, in the wet area, this covering really protects you. But I love mud gloves. Now there is another glove that I use. Yep, these leather gloves with long cuffs because these protect me when I'm clearing out the brambles so I don't end up with scratches all over my lower arms. These are great if you're a rose gardener too. Unfortunately, I used to be, but when we moved here, I quickly learned that roses are really preferred by the deer. And needless to say, every time I put in roses, they thought I was giving them a treat. So I no longer do that, but boy, do these come in handy when I'm clearing out the raspberry area and others. I highly recommend leather gloves that have a long, long cuff on them. And again, for me, I need to find ones that come in the extra small. Another thing I love is this. Yep, it's my garden truck. I think that's what they call it, T-R-U-G. This is really high grade plastic, very, very durable. I had my old one for probably about 12 years before it finally split at the bottom, but I carry everything in it. It's nice and flexible so I can get the handles with one hand. I just can't believe how expensive they are. I think originally I got two of these for under $20 for both at Sam's Club. And now look at the prices. But again, I use these all the time for carrying compost back to the garden, for taking care of my weeds, all kinds of things. I fill this up and it works great. Something else I love is my silky saw. This is a gomboy. It really comes in handy. They have a smaller, I think, a pocket boy too, but I really like this size. It does such a good job and hardly any effort on cutting. My husband was really impressed when I had taken care of area. He goes, you did it? I go, yeah, I did it with a saw. It works extremely, extremely well. Again, I think it's Japanese made, and maybe they're the experts at making garden tools. I'm not sure, but I love their Hori Hori, and I love the silky saws. I also really love Texas tomato cages, and I have no relationship with the company. I just bought their product, again, probably 10 years ago, and I use it every year. Now it's not cheap, it's made of galvanized metal, and the neat thing about it is, can you see, folds flat. And it's actually, can go up to six feet high. This is the extension that goes on top. 
but I use it for my tomato plants. It gives great support. And then at the end of the year, I just fold it in and hang it back in the garage. These things are fantastic. They're so well built. I think they'll last another 20 years. Something new, I showed this in the video. Since I use a modified square foot gardening method, this little tool is going to come in really handy. I've already used it for some planting. I love the thought behind it, how you know all the, you know, carrots use the red holes and uh, beans you're using the yellow holes. Garlic you might be using the blue holes. You, you get what I mean. This really, really comes in handy and it's very durable. So I think this is going to go on my favorite gardening tool list. Now, my poor wheelbarrow was very, very old, and often it got left out in the rain. It wasn't well cared for, and eventually the bottom rusted, and then there was a hole, and finally that hole grew bigger, and one of the tires became permanently flat, and it was just time to put it to bed. So, I decided to try something different than a wheelbarrow. I bought this Gorilla garden cart instead. Here's the gorilla cart. One of the neat things about it is, yep, you can easily dump things, which I really like. And it's very maneuverable. It takes corners really nice. Holds up to 600 pounds and my husband was impressed when we were putting together how easy it went together and how well designed it was. Now I think I am going to buy an extra bin or whatever tub whatever that's called just to be safe. Uh, I think it's about $35 but you know you do worry about plastic actually cracking but yeah I am really happy with this. And finally, some garden reference books. This is The Garden Primer, and it's by Barbara Dumrush. Dum and really, anything you want to know about gardening, um, what to plant, what, how much sun to have, and uh, what are some of the pests, anything for vegetables, flowers, and herbs is in this book. It really is a sort of a garden Bible. And then I also, have Rodale's Vegetable Garden Problem Solver. You know, I find a bug in my garden. Is it a good bug? Is it a bad bug? Uh, or there's mildew or something on the leaves. I look in here and buy the different plants. It will tell me what's infesting my plant or if it's good and leave it alone. So this is a book that only uses organic methods. So I really like the Vegetable Garden Problem Solver by Fern Marshall Bradley. And finally, I live in Michigan. Yes, so for Northern Gardeners, this book is great. It's by Elliot Coleman, Four Season Harvest, and it tells you how you can extend your growing season, or in his case, he grows all winter long, even in the snow. So, another great book. So those are the three that I use. I'd love to know what gardening references you enjoy reading. Well, that's it for me. Remember, comment below and tell me what your favorite garden tools are. And I hope you all have a very successful gardening year and have an abundant harvest.